So here we are in my demo site, and I do want to mention I'm using version 7.1, but this trick will work for any version of Squarespace. We're going to use borders and outlines to create a really cool effect for literally anything in our Squarespace website. So I'm going to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS, and we'll start by isolating this specific block of text right here. Using this Chrome extension, which I've linked in the description below, I'm just gonna grab the block ID for that specific element right there. I'll paste it here, open up a curly bracket, and I'm going to say background, and we'll make the background a light gray color. And then I'll go ahead and say border, 1px solid, we'll make that a solid black so it stands out. And then I'll say outline, 15px, solid and then that same gray color and now it looks like i have an inset border for that specific element around that block of text right there pretty cool right now here's the fun part if you know a selector you can do this for just about anything in your squarespace website let's do that for this uh collage layout design right here this is the selector for that saying design layout collage take the image card i'm going to replace block id with that selector and now we're gonna get the same effect with that background, border, and outline just for the card background for that collage layout. Let's do that for a code block. I can use this selector right here, paste that at the beginning of my code, and now the code block has that background color, border, and outline. Markdown block does the same thing. Let's grab this selector right here. I'll scroll down so we can see it happen. There we go. Now we have the background, border, and outline for the markdown block, so it looks even cooler. And list section cards can do the same thing. Here's the selector right here. We'll paste that here, but we do need to overwrite this background. So I'm gonna add exclamation point, important, there we go. Now it matches that style that we were going for. So you can change this background color to anything you want, this border as well, and the outline. You can make the border a little thick if you want to, maybe make the outline a little thinner if that's what you're going for. Totally up to you, super customizable, and this code is listed in the description below. All you have to do is isolate the right selector or block ID for a simple block of text like we have right here. That's how you can create this inset layout effect. Now, if you don't know the selector for what you're working with, I do have a personal collection of hundreds of selectors for Squarespace inside my CSS cheat sheet. Pages 17 through 68, my friend, has all of the selectors I've worked with for version 7.1 and older versions of Squarespace. If we scroll down here, you can see all kinds of information, uh, maybe for a five theme template in version seven, or if you wanna do this for your cookie alert bar, the selector's right there. 17 through 68, those are the pages inside the CSS cheat sheet that have all the selectors you might wanna use, along with some pro tips and pre-made code snippets that you can use in Squarespace. But however you decide to isolate it, use that selector first, change up the background, give it a border and give it a unique outline and you can create that inset layout look for anything in your Squarespace website.